Hey guys, this is Goku and on this channel we talk about poker and ideas that can improve your life. So if you're interested in that, please go ahead and click the subscribe button because I'll be honored to have you here. In this video, we're gonna dive into the concept of stealing, um, not like shoplifting or anything, but stealing in poker, stealing blinds and antis. So, let's get right into it. Steal is a tournament play you make from late positions when you race with a junk hand only to try and pick up the blinds and antis. It's a very effective and profitable play when done properly. In tournaments, the blinds and antis go up so quickly that you simply cannot wait only for premium hands because you'll get blinded out. In order to maintain your stack, you have to utilize the steal. What factors should you consider when trying to steal the blinds? Definitely your position is the most important as from early positions the steal just won't be very successful. The later your position is, the more likely it is that the steal will work. You will have the most success from the cutoff and the button. Another thing you should consider when stealing is who are the players on the blinds and especially the big blind. Does he defend his blind often or does he fold it unless he picks up a premium hand? If he's loose aggressive, stealing his blind becomes a bad play as he'll defend it or 3-bet most of the time. Best players to steal the blind from are tight players and the tighter they are, the more profitable the steal will be. What's also important is your image on the table. If your opponents have seen you play loosely and steal blinds often, they'll be more likely to call you, so maybe you should wait for a premium hand to raise. On the other hand, if they think you're a nit, meaning a very tight player, you can get away with stealing more, as they'll fear you finally picked up aces. You can utilize steal the most when you have a big stack and you're stealing from short stacks, because they won't be able to do anything about it, unless they pick up a premium hand and that will not happen too often. The best moment to destroy the short stacks with your big stack by stealing lots of hands is on the bubble, or close to it, because they just want to get to the money and they likely fold more than 95% of their hands. Let's look at an example of the steal. The blinds are 1 in 2k with 300 anti, which means there is 5.7k in the pot before the cards are dealt. Everyone falls to you on the cutoff. You raise with 7 deuce off to 4300. Your steal only has to work more than 43% of the time to be profitable. We've covered the steal, so now let's talk about the re-steal. If you know that a specific opponent is stealing a lot, you may counter that with a re-steal. Again, the less players there are left to act in the hand, the better. Most of re-steals happen from the button and the blinds. In general, when restealing, you want to make sure you have good read on your opponent, that is, based on your observations, you think it's very likely that he is stealing in this specific spot. Let's go back to our example. You raised with 7 deuce off to 4.3k, and the player on the big blind, who is a very tight player, decides to use his image and make a re-steal and hit 3 bets to 10,500. He obviously can't call with 7 deuce off, and so he falls, and he wins a nice pot. What is worth to mention is that his re-steal 
only has to work a little over 51% of the time to show profit and even if you have an actual hand and miss the flop, he'll be able to pick up the pot with a continuation bet a lot of the time. And that's all just using his very tight image. Ok, great. Let's sum up what you've learned. Stealing allows you to maintain your stack size in tournaments. It's a low risk, high reward play as long as you're stealing from late positions. The tighter the blinds are, the more profitable the steal becomes. Your ideal opponents are players who don't defend their blinds often. If you're not very comfortable yet with post flop play on short stacks, you should try to avoid stealing from loose aggressive players. If you have a big stack, you can really abuse the short stacks with stealing and as the tournament gets closer to the bubble, you can raise every single hand versus short stacks because they won't be able to respond unless they wake up with a really big hand. Good way to counter players who are stealing too much is to often 3-bet them and that's risk stealing. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and post them below and I'll be sure to answer them as best as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to watch more videos like this in the future. This video is part of a complete poker course dedicated to beginner and casual players that teaches the fundamentals, the most basic principles and strategies of No Limit Texas Hold'em. If you want to become a winning poker player, check it out at Udemy and Skillshare. The links are in the description of this video.